Making a safer world through accuracy and precision is the core purpose that mounts. Here are some quick tips for adjusting the torque setting for a mounts pulse tool. To adjust the torque setting, first remove the cap screw from the front cover. Rotate the anvil manually to locate the valve screw inside by aligning it with the cap screw hole. Then use the hex key tool to adjust the torque setting. Turn the screw counterclockwise to decrease the torque setting. The valve screw will stop turning at the minimum and maximum torque settings. Turning it clockwise will increase the torque setting. For maximum torque, turn it all the way to the stop. With power tools, there are several factors that can affect the torque output, such as tool speed and joint rate. Once the proper air fitting and hose are connected, verify the air pressure is 85 PSI with the tool freely running. Now the pulse tool is ready for operation. Make a rundown on the actual joint application. An auto shutoff pulse tool will automatically shut off when the torque setting is reached. A non shutoff pulse tool should run between 3 to 5 seconds before releasing the trigger. You will need to test the static torque to ensure the fastener has been tightened to the required torque setting. Either a digital torque wrench or tester with a torque and angle sensor should be used. The best way to determine static torque is by performing a just move test by moving the fastener slightly in the forward direction. The torque reading displayed by the wrench or sensor shows the actual torque applied to the fastener by the pulse tool. The number displayed from the just move test could vary from the torque reading displayed when running the pulse tool on a torque tester. If the pulse tool doesn't achieve the desired torque, then you will need to select a tool with a higher torque capacity. Then repeat this process to ensure the pulse tool is adequate for the application.